Hi Gemini, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Dee and I hope you're doing well. This is a general reading which comes to you from the Lyceus Tarot and the Whispers of Love Oracle cards, which may or may not resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just let it pass. In other words, take what resonates with you and leave the rest. God most high angel spirit guys, beings of living like the Holy Spirit. What is the divine guidance and encouragement for Gemini that's for their well-being in the highest form of love and light? Thank you, God Most High. Gemini, you're being encouraged to look at your current situation from a different perspective. Look at all aspects of what's happening instead of having tunnel vision so that you can have more insight on what is the best course of action to take. I would also say that it is important for you to spend time connecting with God Most High or however you honor the higher power so that you can receive divine instructions on what is the next step to take in your situation. Not allowing your emotions to be the driving force, but allowing divine guidance that you receive to be your leading source and force in the situation and trusting your intuition. Okay. You also have the four of swords which encourages you to make time to rest love up on yourself by making the necessary time to give your body the rest to rejuvenate itself to recover from um, just the day in and out work school activities social activities whatever it is that you are involved with which is very um which is very Oh my gosh, the word is on the tip of my tongue, uh, which you are very passionate about, like what really drives you. So take some time to rest, take a break from that to allow yourself the time to rejuvenate, to recover, right? And then you can go back to what you're passionate about, but give yourself the break that it needs. Listen to your body for is the number of stability. So create the stable and uh, create the stable balance, pardon me, where it relates to you having the sufficient time to rest, to engage in whatever it is that you love to engage in for family life, for your social life, etc., etc. Create that balance, right? Create the stability you need in all areas. You also have the six of swords which reflect that there is something that you are deciding to take a break from, right? I'm going to get for you the spirit animal crow cards. So you may be in your current situation dealing with an issue where you know there's nothing else you can say or do at this point. Whoever's involved with it isn't hearing you out completely they're not honoring your perspective in the situation so you've decided that you're going to take a moment to just take a break walk away from it and allow time to pass right sometime before you proceed to address the issue so i see this as you're taking like i said a break from the situation you're moving away from the turmoil because it's too the energy is too highly charged right now to continue it's like you're up against a wall like it's a losing battle because whoever is involved is not hearing you they're not understanding your perspective because they're so focused on their perspective right which confirms the hangman for you to see things from a different perspective which speaks to you disengaging at the moment from the turmoil to just go to a place of peace within yourself calmness tranquility and then determine when it's best to revisit the situation so emotions are running high at this time and it's very um, charged it's just highly charged a lot of back and forth is what I'm getting 
So the decision to take a break from this so that you can align yourself with peace of course, is the best course of action for yourself, but not only that for those who are involved. Number six is the number of harmony and balance. So you're creating that balance by walking away at this time. So let me get the crow card for you. With the crow card, the keyword is transition and the message is which part of your life is or may be going through a transition? Maybe you are changing relationships, careers, or cities. Whatever it is, the crow is signaling that you are ready to make the change. And based on the cards you've received thus far, it is definitely relationship. There could be a need to change in other areas as well, but the message is pointing to relationship at this time and it could be that you're having a struggle with someone in the work environment someone that's a part of a group that you belong to it could be a friend group it could be a social group it could be an organization wherever the connection is it is in the way of your connection with someone else who's just not hearing you at this time but taking a break from the situation is, of course, the best course of action for you at this time. But be assured that you're ready for the change that's coming. You're ready for the change. Otherwise, it wouldn't be happening. As it relates to you, the Whispers of Love Oracle card, that's for your well-being in the highest form of love and light. Okay, these two cards are stuck together, Gemini. So I'm going to go ahead and take them. And I just want to say that the uh, Six of Swords was on the bottom of the deck. So you have miracles and blessings. Everything has a gift. So I feel like this card speaks to you just looking at the blessing in the situation. Regardless of what's happening, there's always a blessing involved in the situations that we face as someone set their alarm not once but twice confirming it thank you god most high for that and there's always miracles that are occurring even when it doesn't seem like it and some miracles are not like major miracles okay so all miracles are major but i think you know what i'm saying like it's not gaining huge attention but there's always miracles that are happening around us more confirmation thank you god most high <laughs> so um i would say just be open to receiving the miracles and seeing the blessings in your situation because everything has is gift and also with the ship coming in or being present rather, I feel like that also speaks to blessings coming in. I know you heard of the term, like your ship is coming in, like your blessings are coming in, your reward is coming in. So give gratitude for the blessings that you already have. And your final card is new love. Embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or spiritual growth so new love as it relates to a new connection in something that you like to do for your growth as it relates to your career or your spirituality so the love you're going to find a new love in those areas right so embrace an opportunity for love in your work prospects or spiritual growth and who could disagree with that we all could use enhancement in both areas i would say and doing it um 
in an environment where you can express your love for what you do and the love of your spiritual connection and or the love for being able to use your gifts and talents in the work environment is always a plus. All right. So Gemini, this is your message. I hope it has been helpful. Thank you for joining me here. If you're not already subscribed, I encourage you to consider subscribing because I would love to have you join us here. Like, comment, share, turn on your post notification, check out the community tab as well as the membership option as well. So take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. And also, if you are a private person, I respect and honor your privacy. You don't have to leave a comment. Just drop a heart emoji, your favorite color heart emoji at that. Your favorite color heart emoji in the comment section. And if you stay to the end, leave me a smiley face emoji. All right. Take good care of yourself. I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.